They're here. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are in New York City today as the palace braces itself for the couple to drop their Netflix series, which is expected to be chock full of royal bombshells. Here's Les Trent. More fallout today from the Meghan and Harry documentary, and it hasn't even aired. A whopping 7 million people have viewed the trailer on YouTube, and 400,000 are giving it a thumbs down. Just 22,000 give it a thumbs up. The British newspapers are going bonkers, blasting the Netflix show. I think people should at least see the documentary before you start complaining and all the hater and all the tsunami that's coming I'll against I'll say one Wait thing. till you see it. Last night, as Meghan and Harry arrived in New York City on a private jet, they continued facing heavy criticism that some of the videos used in the trailer are false and misleading. This photo claiming to show paparazzi beleaguering Harry and Meghan was actually taken at the premiere of Harry Potter in 2011, five years before Harry ever met Meghan. And when Meghan complains about being stalked by photographers, there's this video. Except the footage is actually photographers going after Donald Trump's former attorney, Michael Cohen. Royal correspondent Robert Johnson says there's another moment in the documentary where video is used to suggest Harry and Meghan are being stalked, but he says that's just not accurate. There were three accredited uh, reporters in a position that they'd agreed standing next to their press secretary. So I found that you know, uncomfortable that that was the narrative they were trying to get across in the trailer, which was simply not true. If you're trying to document the truth and reality of their lives, that's not a good foot forward. And are William and Kate trying to steal Meghan and Harry's thunder? Look at these stunning photos released just today, taken last week in Boston. Kate sure looks glamorous. The first three episodes of the documentary will air Thursday. The final three will drop on December 15th. Not exactly the holiday gift the royal family wants. Meghan and Harry are in Manhattan to receive an award from the Robert F. Kennedy Human Rights Organization for speaking out about racism.